I'm Annalie Johnson Jennings, and I am from the Quapaw, Sac and Fox, Choctaw, and Miami nations. And I am Ani Perkins. I am Clinket or Thlingit from Southeast Alaska. And together we are the co-presidents of Native Americans at Dartmouth. Orange Shirt Day is a day of remembrance of indigenous children who were sent to boarding schools in Canada and the United States. So Indian boarding schools that were government schools. And the goal of the schools was to assimilate Indian children. So in these schools, the, the phrase was, kill the Indian, save the man. These school systems continued until 1978. And I was like, we as a community at Dartmouth should really be recognizing and honoring that day. It is a huge issue that affects so many of our communities. Like, I can't like stress that enough. Children were had their hair cut off weren't allowed to speak their languages. The abuse was physical, emotional, sexual. They were taken advantage of and hurt and killed. There are thousands of unmarked graves. Why were they unmarked? Because the people at those schools thought that these children's lives and these children did not matter. The motto, every child matters, I think is specifically relevant to us doing this on campus for me. I think our campus is a very diverse place. We have people from all backgrounds. We have people from all places. And we read about these atrocities. We read about these realities. But I think what a lot of people are missing sometimes is that these are truths of the students. These are truths of my grandparents, of her grandparents, of so many of your fellow classmates. For Indigenous people especially, erasure is a really big and important focus. So the stories of those people who nobody knows what happened to matter, and we don't just get to forget about them in the history books. I'm hoping that we continue this momentum that our mm -hmm. whole community on campus is having right now. I saw every NAD I knew wearing orange that day and the visibility was amazing. When we do these kinds of events that are a little bit more serious, there's still that underlying notion that despite everything that the government has tried, despite everything that we may have gone through personally, despite the effects of trauma that are still lasting in our communities and our families, we are able to be here together and that's always gonna be something beautiful because our people are the way that they are and we don't stop.